Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share my review of the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini Backpack. I've had this bag for about 5 years now and I have the original version. The one with the hidden zipper. So if you look at this one, you will see that the zipper is inside this flap over here. So like that. I know a lot of people have had issues with this design, but personally, I like it. It feels theft proof, so when I have it on my back, I don't have to worry. So now let's start with the dimensions and materials. The Palm Springs Mini measures 22 centimeters in height, 10 centimeters in width, 17 centimeters in length. So it's compact, but still spacious. It's made from Louis Vuitton's monogram canvas. With colored cowhide finishes. With foam backing, which gives it a bit of structure. The inside has a soft fabric lining. And the metal parts are in a beautiful golden finish. You will see here, the leather poles are in this beautiful gold. So you look at the gold there from the zipper. And for the straps, the hardware for the straps, including the claws. And we have here. Even after five years, the canvas is still in excellent condition. Louis Vuitton's quality really shows here. However, there are some scratches and tarnishing on the hardware for the straps, which is expected from frequent use. So you will see, look at that, um, so tarnishing and scratches, including this one. Most of the tarnishing are in these two top um, holes, what do you call that? Because I always use this as a cross body bag, so I only use this two for the straps. For this one, I don't see, well there's light scratches in here when I use this as a backpack but the worst tarnishing is here with the two top now let's dive into the features of the Palm Springs Mini it comes with two removable and adjustable straps which range in length from 51 centimeters to 56 centimeters it's actually four pieces of straps so if you look here i'm gonna disconnect this so you see that so now you see this we have two short straps. So these are the short straps. And then we have the two long straps. There you go. So you have to connect the short straps to the long straps to make them like one long strap. So 
Let me show you how. So this is the short strap. And then this is the long one. So you have to connect them by inserting this through the hole. So you just have to make sure that this part here on the long strap and on the short strap, they're facing each other like that. And then we push it through the hole like so. And the other side, like that. And then just put that in place using this. There you go. So now we have connected to the two straps to make one long strap. And to adjust, it's the same. If you want it in the shortest setting, just insert this in the last hole. So this is the last hole. Like that. And then for this one, the last hole in the long strap, which is this one. So this is the shortest one. If you want it longer, then just adjust it. Just insert it in these other holes. So... Just adjust it like that. There. So this is longer now. So you'll know it's it's the longest setting because There's only one hole left in between these two locks. So this is the longest setting. So that's for the strap. These straps make it super versatile. You can wear it as a backpack, crossbody, or even over the shoulder. The bag has a zip closure with a hidden zipper design that some people might find tricky. But I actually prefer it since it feels more secure and theft proof. And I also have this keychain um, attached to the zipper pull of the main um, zipper or the main compartment. The keychain makes it easier to open and close the bag because I just need to use this and just pull. <laughs> see it's um, it helps to make it helps to open and close the bag easily if we didn't have the keychain it's still it's still okay but there's a bit of a like struggle just a little because we don't have because the zipper pull is short, so we don't have a lot of like room to help with the pulling or tugging of the zipper. So it's still okay, but I just prefer having a keychain just to help make everything easier. So just like that. So the main compartment opens up nice and wide inside there's a deep slip pocket all the way to the back so you can't see it because it's black the black fabric lining makes the inside of the bag look like a black hole so yeah so this is the slip pocket at the back of the bag the bag also has a front external pocket with the zipper and a leather loop where you can attach a scarf or any other accessory to customize the look. The top handle is made of cowhide leather 
It's simple, making it easy to grab and go if you prefer it to carry it by hand. We also have these two tiny leather tabs, one on each side of the front pocket. A lot of people complain about these tabs because they get snagged easily while you're using the bag. But I don't have any issues with these tabs so far. In fact, they're still in excellent condition. And we have this leather tab as well on the front pocket with the Louis Vuitton um, logo here. I personally prefer using the bag as a crossbody with one strap. It feels safer that way and I find it more comfortable. The straps are a bit too long for short people like me when worn as a backpack. I'm five one, but I've seen some people shorten them using a clever trick where you loop one end through the hole instead of connecting them in the usual way. So what I've seen is um, they detach the short strap so they don't use the short strap so this is the short strap I detached it and they put this here they attach, attach this at the top and in here this is where the tricky part comes in. They just kind of um, put this through this hole. And you have to maneuver it so that this lock here will be able to um, push through the hole. So I've seen them do it that way. But I didn't do that. <laughs> um, I just don't want to fold the strap too much or bend the strap too much so I just leave it as it is it's a handy hack if you want to make the straps shorter despite its small size you can definitely fit a lot of things inside the Palm Springs Mini so let's put my essentials in here I have my I have my mini pochette so I'll put that in here. Um, for me, to keep everything organized, I like to arrange my items vertically, like books on a bookshelf. So, so something like that. My wallet. Um, arranging it this way, I can see everything clearly and pull things out quickly. So you, I can see that this is my my pochette, my wallet, my card holder, power bank, sanitizer, coin purse, Wipes, tissues, AirPods, and I put my phone, I insert my phone in here, in front. Let's just put the coin purse like, at the top like that. So, as I said, as I mentioned, I can see everything clearly and pull things out quickly. The downside is that when I put things back, I need to arrange them the same way. So it takes a little extra time, extra time for me to put my stuff back the way it was. So, for example. I have to get my wallet like this so take them out easily and then sometimes the stuff just um, falls down so when I put them back put my wallet back it's just see it's I have to take some stuff out so I can arrange 
at how it was. Put this back. Put this back there. There you go. And if you arrange them the usual way, which you can actually do, so like like how you would put things in a backpack. So for example, like this. You can still do that. Yeah. You can fit a lot like that. hard see um yeah but you can do it well you see there's a difference when we arrange them like like books on a bookshelf and like this because books in the bookshelf we, there's like a lot of space for my phone but like this way um it's it feels tighter the downside with this is um, when you have a lot of stuff like this, or you have packed the bag full, it's hard to find your things inside and take them out, especially if the item is all the way at the back. So if I wanted to get my mini pochette, it's just hard to take that, take it out without having to pull some stuff out just to get it. So like this, see, yeah, it's, I'm having a hard time getting the mini pochette which is what I put all the way at the back. This is also why I don't use the slip pocket at the back um, because it's just hard to pull the item out of it. So it does fit a lot. Okay let's try adding um, this key clay. Let's see, um, I think we can put it here on the side. Yes, <laughs> it's tight fit. Let's put back the AirPods. Yes, so um, it's gonna be really tight for the phone. Okay, so I have my Bosca here. Um, I won't be able to put my phone on the in the front if the basta is here on the front because it's very tight. So if I can put it right there, the top, that's fine. But like I said, you arrange it this way, then it's gonna be hard for you to take out items, especially if they're like at the back. So yeah. So if you want to put more stuff in here, I think the best way to do it is to arrange it vertically. So let's do it again. So one thing about my main pochette is it's very full, so it's a bit thick. In here, let's put our wallet. Card holder again. Key clay. Bar back. AirPods. And um, Bastia. So this way, you have more space for my phone there you go um, so let's say I don't need my power bank um, let's take out the power bank put in our sunglasses mm. I'm kind of scared to put my sunglasses in here because it's tight so I wouldn't recommend that unless 
you have a lot of space in the bag or you don't have a lot of stuff in here so I think that's fine but with this one yeah I think this is okay I guess there's still it's not that tight for the sunglasses so no need to worry about having your sunglasses sunglasses crushed and then let's put back the airpods point first let's take out the sunglasses let's change the wallet let's say you have a different wallet let's use a compact wallet so i have this a bifold wallet from ysl let's put that in there So this one, it has more space here at the top because this one's shorter than the Minio case. Yeah. Put our AirPods and we still have space here. On this side, how about we put our mini fan in here. In case you need it. There. It fits, and then let's put this at the top. Then you can put our phone in front. Yeah, there's still space for the phone. See? I usually have my case for the fan, so we can put that here. Let's try with the case. Still fits and you still have the key clay here coin purse you let's try adding the power bank maybe there's still space <laughs> oh my gosh oh well oops Taking this out, put the power back in. There's the power bank. Take my parts here. Key clay at the top. And <laughs> your Bastia, I mean coin purse. Okay, that is very full. But yeah, if you're gonna pack this bag to the brim, then you have to be very patient and you have to be ready to um, struggle when it comes to taking out and putting stuff back in because it's okay if you've already arranged it this way. Now when you take stuff out and you put them back in, it's gonna be, it's gonna take you a while <laughs> to arrange it like how it is so let's say okay i need to pay so it's okay it's tight it's hard so i have to take this out and okay bear in mind this is empty so it's a bit flat now once this is now once this has cash in it so this might be like a little bit thicker but not so much which is one of the reasons why i like this wallet because um, no matter how much money you have here it's not going to be very thick okay so now let's put it back in let's say okay i'm done paying now i have to put this back in and it's so hard to put it back in okay so you really have to be Patient. Oh my god. Okay. There you go. Yeah. 
that not everybody needs. Like a mini fan, so we can take this out. Replace it with like shades or your sunglasses. Can do that. But again, you have to be careful in where you place it. Or you might want to do this at the top. Nope. You don't want to do that. Now let's say you have a different wallet, a thicker one, like a trifold wallet like the Victorine. So let's replace this with the Victorine wallet. So yeah, that one's thicker. Yeah. But it's still fine. There you go. So if you don't need the power bank, now this way, you can put your sunglasses here because it's not that tight anymore. So yes. So if you want to put your sunglasses, just make sure again, like I've mentioned before, um, your bag is not full. It's not stuffed, so you won't break your sunglasses if it's too tight. So yeah, so see how spacious um, this bag is. It's small. It's a mini bag, but it fits your essentials and more. Yeah, and it's not even that. Um, it's heavy, but compared to um, having all this stuff in a bigger leather bag, it's lighter. It's less heavy than that. So, yeah. This small front pocket is actually very tight. And you have to pull the leather tab to access anything inside. If you open this seat, the zipper is hidden underneath this flap. So this is you open it and you pull this so that you can see what's inside here. So there. So I put some like stuffing in here so that it's it holds its shape so it doesn't like flatten. So yeah, so that's how you access stuff in there. So personally, I like to keep a tiny bottle of white flower oil in there. Perfect for emergencies when I'm feeling nauseous or need a quick pick-me-up. So it's really only useful for tiny items because of its size. So yeah, so I can put that in here. Yeah, and I don't even have to close this front pocket because it's already tight. And nobody will try or attempt to steal from this. It's really hard. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it back out. Next, I'll show you some mod shots so you can see how the bag looks when worn. Here's how the Palm Springs Mini looks as a crossbody. It sits comfortably at my hip, making it super convenient for quick access. Of course, you can adjust the straps according to your preference. Again, I am 5'1", and with the current setting of my strap, you can still adjust it like one hole shorter and five holes longer. And this is over the shoulder. I'll show you how it looks as a backpack even though the straps are too long for me. If you can get the length right, it's a cute look for casual outings. Overall, I love my Palm Springs Mini. It's compact, versatile, and has held up really well over the years. The hidden zipper gives me that extra peace of mind when I wear it on my back, and I love how much I can fit inside, even if it takes a little effort to organize. If you're considering this bag, just keep in mind the strap length if you're on the shorter side and the tight front pocket. So I hope this review was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. 
script or how you like to style your Palm Springs Mini. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.